Go 40 for the lot. Oh, these are worth a bit, these ones. Are they? Yeah, they are. <laughs> uh, I suppose stick at 50. 50? Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm actually shocked at the value of this one right here. We've got Heartbreak High, Series 1 to 3. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we've got a big flea market video again today. Uh, it is Sunday, I've got Jamie, the everyday flipper. He's back for another week with me. Um, Jamie's very, very close to monetization, guys, on YouTube, which Too is, close. yeah, very, very close. And it's actually something that you work really, really hard towards. And Jamie's been doing this for about two or so years. It's nearly three. three. Nearly three yeah. years. Um, so it's a huge milestone for him. I'm gonna link his channel into the description below. Um, so go and give him a subscribe and then watch a couple of his videos to get him across the line for monetization. Um, we're out here at the, uh, the Flea, uh, Carrara Markets. We're trying to buy stuff to flip for a profit onto eBay. Let's get in there, Jamie. Yeah, let's give it a go. We'll see what we can find. <laughs> Shame we got wet, eh? That's all right, it'll dry off. Should dry off. What's going on? We see you on the. Um... Hello, brother. Yeah, I see you on YouTube. Oh, you watch it, do you? Yeah, good. I think everyone here does. Yeah, I know. It's unavoidable. <laughs> How much you got on that one? Uh, 15, man. 15? It's pretty cool. You can eat your lunch out of it. I know. I'd probably hold on to it for a second before I sell it. Uh, would you do 10? Yeah, man. Let's do it. Got to do it for the flipper, eh? Oh, I appreciate you, mate. Um, I've got a 50. Is that a problem? No. I can break it if you need me to somewhere else. <laughs> How much on the shoes, my friend? Sorry? How much on the shoes? 40. 40, they are good, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, someone's grabbing those. No worries. That one? Three. Three? Do that. Jeans? Five. Five? Five. Nah, we'll do that eight, eight bucks. Yeah. Now guys, clothing isn't something I do heavily as I've spoken about a little bit on this channel, but I couldn't resist a couple of really good brands. We've got this one here. Uh, it's Diesel. Um, so Diesel Industries right there. The, the make of this one is Yarrick. And I also really like the size. It was a size 34, 32. Um, these ones were actually picked up for just $3. I think it was over $3. Yeah, cheap. It, it was cheap. Um, and the comps on eBay, you're seeing these go for about $40 to $50 every single time. When I used to do jeans, I used to buy a lot of this brand. So if you're trying to get into your clothing or if you are selling your clothing, you're gonna know that that is a good brand to be finding. Diesel. I also picked up something that I rarely see when I'm at the fleet, and that is the brand Carhartt. There it is there. Carhartt t-shirt. I think this was three to five dollars as well. Um, these t-shirts actually go for about forty to forty-five dollars, even in pre-owned condition like this one here. So it's got a good uh, Carhartt on the sleeve, as you can see there, which is kind of cool. And it is a size medium. It's not ideal, but you'd obviously want a slightly larger size. But if you go cons on eBay for Carhartt, especially long sleeve, you got forty to forty-five dollars every single time. So two pairs of clothing when I'm not actually doing very much of it. These two items here are gonna go for a little over a hundred bucks. Hello, how you doing? I've got a couple over here. I've got uh, Heartbreak High, Heart of Dixie in the shoes. These ones? Yeah. So we just got 10 on each of those. Uh -huh. That's all right. 
So I'd be happy with 50 bucks for the lot. 50 for the lot, so you got 30 on the shoes. Yep. Would you do 20 on the shoes? Cool. Go 40 for the lot. Oh, these are worth a bit, these ones. Are they? Yeah, they are. <laughs> uh, I'd probably stick at 50. 50, yeah, all right. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll leave the shoes, but I'll, I'll take the DVDs. 40, I'll do 40. You do 40? Fine, let's do it. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, that was an awesome buy. I'm actually shocked at the value of this one right here. We've got Heartbreak High, series one to three. It's actually a complete series set. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna let you guys know just how much this little bad boy's worth. So stick around. No. These are pretty cool. Actually, all pretty cool. Five dollars, though. I don't know about that, but that's a real shame. And mind you, though, you could actually do the cover, just the case and manual. That can often do all right. You can often get DVDs that are super rare, you know, $30, $40 on just individual TV shows, uh, individual movies, sorry. But I would need to sit here and scan through a lot of them to try and find all of those. So when I'm down at the flea, I'm just looking for big bulk DVD TV show bundles. I'm trying to get them for a dollar or two dollars a piece, but from what I'm seeing here, no TV show seasons in this lot. So I'm just going to avoid it and move on, ultimately to try and save myself some time. The Nikes in the corner have sold, have they? Yes, I'm really sorry about that. Nah, all good. All right, guys. Um, it was just a couple, a couple of sales that I didn't put on camera. The first one that I've got here is this Sailor Moon Eternals Edition Number One. Um, not a ton of comps here in Australia, but there are a few comps overseas, and we're looking at about thirty to forty dollars. I'm gonna probably list it up for about thirty bucks free postage. Um, but we only paid five bucks. So typically anything Sailor Moon, this one's just a comic book, um, but anything Sailor Moon does pretty well. So I was happy to find that. Um, these as well, um, we picked these up. These are the Air Max 98s. Now, as you can see, condition this year is something I'm gonna place a really large uh, focus on. These are a women's size seven. And uh, I reckon with the Air Max 98s, we can get about $100, but I'm gonna probably price these ones up for about 80 bucks. There was some bigger comps weren't there on yeah, I think international you were looking a bit higher, but I think condition and size, I think that's good. Yeah, and I think just to get them done, you can always help your sell through rate when you just price slightly sort of more midstream, mm. lower end. Um, so being a US size seven, it's not the best size of shoe. Um, so we're gonna go for about 80 to $100 worth of a listing on those. Only 20 bucks in them? I only paid 20, yeah. so, so that was pretty good. I couldn't resist a bulk DVD purchase and I've got a really good one here, keeping up with the Kardashians. Now, if this was a smaller series set of, say, seasons one to 10, for instance, I probably wouldn't have done it. But what this is, is this is bundles um, season 11 through to season 20. Um, so this is, I think season 20 is the last series that they're up to at the moment um, for the Kardashians. Right. And there was comps going for season 20 for about $25 for just the one. Um, so I think we can bundle this up as a set for around about 60 to $70. So, you know, paying $10 like we did, 10 into 60, you're gonna put this one into a box to ship it off, you're probably gonna pay no more than 10 to $15. There's gonna be some decent profit in your DVD bundles. Um, so that was another good pickup that we had off camera. What'd you buy today? <laughs> you are basically just chief cameraman today. Um, yeah. I was building connections today, that's what I'd say. Well, I'll tell you what, not enough people do that. Yeah. You were having a lot of conversations with people out there and that is crucial. Yeah. And I like talking to everyone around here. They're all nice people. Well, that's because they all love you, mate. Hard uh, not to. Um, epic. Getting. Well, Jamie and I are actually going to be running a, um, a booth here at the flea market next week. We're going to be both dueling up as a, as a tag team. Combo. As a, as a winning combo. So mm. that video will come out probably next Sunday afternoon. Yeah. So subscribe to the channel for a bit of content around both Jamie and I here at the flea trying to sell some buy items. And buy our stuff, please.
Yeah. And oh yeah, come in and buy some stuff. It's gonna be cheap. Jamie, you got an opportunity to purchase an item before you leave. There's some goats over here. How much for the goats? Oh, I just wanted that one that you're holding there. I'll give it, I'll, I'll take it for 50 bucks. Uh, I need a bit more. <laughs> need a bit more, Jamie. You're going to have to barter. No, I don't make that much money anymore. eBay fares are killing What a cutie. <laughs> and just like that, guys, we are back home. I could not be happier um, with what we were able to pick up today. The quality of the listings purchased out of the fleet today has me very excited about some upcoming eBay sales. I wanted to get straight into it, the Heartbreak High DVD bundle. This was an exciting purchase, not actually realized at the time. I bought it thinking it was gonna be worth about 30 to $40. But my goodness, it's worth a whole lot more than that. Um, the, the most exciting thing about this DVD set is that when you search it up, there is not one complete Series 1 to 3 available for purchase right now on eBay. That has me the most excited because it means that I'm going to be the only one listing this up in the country and that means that it's going to go on to sell quick. Now, there are individual seasons of this show going for about $60 to $80 a piece. Uh, but there was one comp, one previous sale in the last 90 days. Somebody tried to list this up for $220 and they got a $175 sale price. So I'm going to list it up for $199 and 95 cents. Guys, I've been talking about DVD bundles for the last three years. They are by far and away the best selling category that I have in my eBay store. 50% of my sales last year were the bad boys, the DVDs. Now it's not single DVD sets. As you can see by my purchases today, they are all TV show season set bundles. It's the way I do it. You get a higher average sale price and they are more sought after because sell through rate, as I've come to realize a little bit late into the piece, three years in, uh, is the most important part. So I've got nine items purchased at the flea today. If I had 30 items at the flea market today, I wouldn't have been as excited as the nine that I've got here because the other 21 listings that I would have picked up wouldn't have been as good. They would have taken a whole lot longer to sell and the average sale price was probably gonna be a whole lot less. So I'm saying no to those. 21 listings from now on. I'm just going to list up the quality. We've got nine fantastic items that you've seen in this video today. And I hope that you take a leaf out of my book and you do the same thing. You focus on your sell through rate and you go out, you have a look to see what's active. Perfect example here, heartbreak high, nothing active, brilliant. And then you go ahead and it actually allows you to list this one up even higher than you normally would because you've got that information. I think too many people just search up sold comps on eBay and they just see that this item is worth one sale of $175 and they don't even bother to go and see how many items are listed. As a really good example of sell through rate, if this one right here, Heartbreak High, had 25 listings unsold in its complete entirety, then I probably... I probably would have picked it up to be fair, but I probably wouldn't have been as excited. I can guarantee you I wouldn't have been as excited uh, by the fact that I actually didn't see any active listings because the sell through rate is just so much better. You've had one sell and you don't have any listings. So that just tells me it's a really rare DVD bundle um, you know, versus 25 listings of the complete series set and nobody wanting to buy it. So that's why you've got to pay so much attention into the research uh, behind every product that you purchase. Uh, but super excited, the total value of everything here today, guys, we have $625 uh, in true value coming out of a total of just nine items. I can't be more excited about that. I'm going to list it up right now. I think the best time to list your items is the second that you buy them because you're so excited about what you've been able to find. So you may as well jump on board and start listing them up straight away. Uh, before that excitement starts to wane. Um, I'm going to leave you with this video though right here, which was another flea market video uh, from a couple of weeks ago. Appreciate you being here for this one, guys. It really does mean the world. I have to say that to end this video. It means the world, you guys tuning in. And if you're still here, if you're still here watching it, this part of the video, I can't thank you enough. You're the, one, you're the real ones. Thanks, heaps. We'll see you soon.